Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, we are going to be comparing Editor X to Wix Studio. Now, if you've never heard of Editor X or Wix Studio, these are both of Wix's professional platforms. And with the announcement of Wix Studio, they also made an announcement that Wix Studio will be replacing Editor X. And by the time this video actually even comes out, Editor X might have been discontinued. So in a way, this video is not just a comparison, but it's also kind of a goodbye to Editor X. Now, some of you may not know this, but I absolutely loved Editor X. If they would have continued to develop Editor X into something else, I would have absolutely loved that. But then they announced Wix Studio, and that was almost like a web builder I didn't know I needed. I instantly fell in love with it and basically started making content on that from from then on. I actually love Wix Studio even more than Editor X now, but I did want to kind of say goodbye to Editor X by creating this little video to compare the differences a little bit. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention if you want to see videos just like this, but before anybody else, you can press that little join button down below the video. I typically release videos one to four weeks before they actually go public on the channel, so channel members get to see the videos pretty early. And for everyone that has signed up recently to become a channel member, thank you. And if you're just here to subscribe and watch the videos, you are also very much appreciated and want to give you guys a shout out too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am in Editor X and in another tab, I also have Wix Studio up. And we're just going to first, I guess, start by comparing the UI or UX for these two platforms. The first thing that for me is the most obvious is right here in Wix Studio, we have all of the different icons on the left hand side, very similar to the classic editor. But here in Editor X, all of those icons are kind of up here in the top bar. Personally, I kind of like them in Wix Studio a little bit more, just being here on the left hand side, because I use classic editor for years and it's familiar to me. And with Editor X, it seemed like it was a different product. So they put it on the top and it was kind of nice having it there at the top. But, and the fact that it was called Editor X instead of something like Wix Studio made it seem like a different product. So having it on the top made a lot of sense to me. However, with Wix Studio, since it's very obviously in the Wix ecosystem, I like having it on the left hand side and it kind of gives that classic editor feeling to it. The next thing I kind of want to talk about is the editing size. So in Wix Studio, we have this thing called editing size. We can kind of set the editing size to be whatever width that we want. So right now, or by default, it's set to 1280. So when we're designing our website, we are designing our website for a 1280 pixel width screen. And when we resize the screen, we can see that it gets bigger and smaller. But as soon as I let go of this little handle, it snaps back to our editing size, which is 1280. However, in Editor X, we don't really have an editing size. Um, instead, we just have a default desktop size. So when I resize the screen to be whatever I want, and I let go of the handle, it just stays there. So you can see right here it is now 1322 instead of 1936. Of course, I can go ahead and just select the desktop breakpoint and it'll take me right back to the 1936 uh, size that we were at before. I will say initially, I didn't like that when I let go of the handles, it snapped back to the editing size. However, after playing with Wix Studio for a while, it does just make a lot more sense. And I do think it is a nice feature to have. The last UI thing that we're gonna kind of cover here in the editor is the toolbar or the inspector panel, if you will, inside of Editor X and Wix Studio. In Editor X, we have a layout tab, a design tab, and an animations and effects tab. Under the layout tab, we have the size, display, position, anchor, and we also typically have, depending on the element, we'll have an adjust option here as well. Then if we switch over to the design tab, here is where we have all the different design settings like color, if we have a text element, we'll have the different design text options um, available. And then of course, in the animations and effects area, we only have hover and click interactions, if you will. But if we go over to Wix Studio, here we only have two options. We have design, and then we have animation and effects. For this one, we have the size properties. Then we have the design properties, which is like the color, the text editing tools. And then below that, we then have layout, position, um, anchor. We even have cursor here as well. And 
then again, for certain elements, we also have the adjust options here as well. And then last but not least, we have the animation and effects area where here, you know, if I just go ahead and drag out another element here, we will see we have entrance animations, hover, click, scroll, and loop. And we will soon have mouse interactions as well. So as you can see, Wix Studio obviously has a lot more options when it comes to these different animations and effects than Editor X. And that was one of the main draws and main selling points that they brought to our attention when they announced Wix Studio. So I do like the fact that Wix Studio just has more animation and effect options. So I think that's really nice. And besides that, I think most of the UI is already going to be pretty familiar to you. Um, I will say here in Editor X, if we turn on dev mode, we had the coding panel down here. However, when Wix Studio first released, the coding panel was actually over here on the left. However, recently they have since reverted to having the coding panel on the bottom, just like Editor X. So I was going to make a note of that in this video, but they ended up changing it right before before I pressed record or a couple days before. And so that doesn't really change here anymore anyway. Um, but I will note that if you are watching this and you are using the Wix IDE, um, you can now access this right here from the coding panel. However, what I will say is I actually do like the fact that we have the design options and the layout options all in the same area. And instead of like Editor X where there's a whole separate tab for it, I do find it easier for me to adjust the layout and design options all in the same um, area right here. So I actually really do like this change in Wix Studio. The next thing I kind of want to discuss is nothing is automatically responsive inside of Editor X. So just for example, if I go ahead and add a text element here, when I resize the screen, you're going to notice that the text does not get bigger and smaller when I resize the device. Instead, here in Editor X, we had to do that manually by heading over to the Design tab, turning on Scaling Text, and we can set the minimum height and maximum height for the text. However, inside of Wix Studio, we add this text element. The responsive behavior is automatically set to scale proportionately, and our text element is already responsive by default. So I think that is really nice. The only thing that I would recommend that people do is drop down this max min option and maybe set like a minimum value here. That way on mobile, it doesn't get super tiny. But I will say I really do like the fact that the responsive behavior for most elements inside of Wix Studio is automatically applied. Whereas in Editor X, you have to manually set everything to be responsive. Another note that I would like to make here is here inside of Editor X, we can see we have our desktop, tablet, and mobile breakpoints here, and it goes big to small, right? However, with scaling text here, it goes small to big. So it's a little bit opposite of how we're kind of programmed to think here in the editor with the big to small. So I actually do like that here in Wix Studio in the font scaling, they actually did it big to small. It's more in line with the big to small breakpoints. So this is a little bit better of a user experience in the way that I guess the editor is programming us to think. It's making us think big to small. And I feel like that is implied a little bit better here inside of Wix Studio than it was here in Editor X. I know that's a very minor adjustment, but I do think it's really nice. And on the note of automatic responsiveness, you know, here inside of Wix Studio, the even the sections itself is not getting any smaller by default. To make your sections responsive, there is one thing we have to do, and that is to set the height to a responsive value, because by default, it's set to a pixel value, and that's not really responsive. So now when I resize the screen, you're gonna notice that the section is getting a little bit smaller and smaller. However, inside of Wix Studio, by default, it is set to pixels with an asterisk. So pixel with an asterisk basically means that on our editing size, which is 1280, this section is gonna be 500 pixels. However, if I change this editing size to 1001 and press apply, you'll now notice that the height is set to 391 with an asterisk. So this pixel with an asterisk basically means that depending on your editing size, that is gonna be the size of that element. 
So with that logic applied inside of Wix Studio, this means that without any additional work needed, the sections itself is fully responsive. And I find that to be super helpful because in Wix Studio, even though it's just two extra clicks to switch it to a responsive value, if you have a lot of sections or a lot of elements that you need to manually make responsive, it's just so many more extra clicks compared to Wix Studio where everything is by default already set to scale proportionately and you might need to tweak it, but you don't need to set it to be responsive and then further tweak it. You just know it's gonna be responsive and you might just need to tweak how it's being responsive. But overall, I do have to say, I still really like Editor X, but as I've said in previous videos, I really do believe Wix Studio is the best of the classic editor and Editor X. And I just think they're doing a fantastic job at making Wix Studio the best web builder out there today. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on Wix Studio and Editor X in the comments below. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.